Hello friends, welcome to Shikshati. In this video, we'll be talking about numbers. So let's start. Now, since we have already had the first session on numbers in which we had a broad classification of numbers, in this video, we'll, our focus would be basically on prime numbers, composite numbers, even numbers and odd numbers. And at the same time, we'll be using the terminology, which is, uh, I mean, terminology of numbers like natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Just to revise at the very outset, what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are counting numbers. So numbers that start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These are natural numbers. What are whole numbers? All natural numbers are whole numbers. But then there is one more number which gets added here and that is 0. So what are whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. What are integers? If I talk about are natural numbers integers? Yes. Are whole numbers integers? Yes. But then we have some negative numbers also. So negative numbers which are written without a decimal point, positive numbers which are written without a decimal point and zero are integers, which we have already talked about in the earlier video. So taking this forward, now talking about even numbers, what are even numbers? Even numbers are those numbers which are multiples of two. Now when I write it in this format, what am I saying basically? So what is the format that I'm talking about? I'm talking about the format A into B. So when I say A into B is equal to what? The product of two numbers. Where A becomes what? A is my multiplicand. And what is B here? Multiplier. So if I say the product is an even now product of two numbers is an even number. I can write it as what one of the numbers would be two definitely and the other one would be a natural number. So for further discussions, you would see for prime numbers we will be using capital P for composite numbers we will be using capital C for even numbers we will be using capital E for odd numbers we will be using capital O for natural numbers we will be using capital N for whole numbers we will be using capital W. And last but not the least, for integers, we'll be using a capital Z for further discussions. Okay, so can I say even numbers can be written as a product of two numbers wherein one of them, let's say the multiplicand here is two and the multiplier will be what? A natural number or a whole number or an integer. Meaning thereby, if I have to write down the entire set of even integers. So please mark the words being used. If I say even natural numbers, then the even natural numbers would be 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on, which are multiples of 2. But if I say even whole numbers, then the set starts from 0, the next number comes out to be 2, then the next is 4 and so on. But if I say even integers, that means if I'm talking about plus 2, I'll talk about minus 2. If I'm talking about plus 4, at the same time, I'll talk about minus 4. At the same time, I'll talk about 0 as well. And so on and so forth on both the extremities. When I say both the extremities, I'm talking about the positive side and I'm talking about the negative side as well. I hope I'm clear on this. Now, in the similar way, using the same analogy, we'll be talking about odd numbers also. So what are odd numbers? Odd numbers are those numbers which when divided by 2 leave a remainder 1. Okay, these are odd numbers, but if I have to represent this in the form of natural numbers, whole numbers or integers, let us see how can we represent this. Okay, so now when I say 2 n minus 1, what is the minimum value of a natural number that I can take? 1. So how much is 2 into 1 minus 1? 1. What is the next natural number that I can take here? 2 into 2 minus 1 which is 3 and so on. So if I talk about odd natural numbers, what are odd natural numbers? 1, 3, 5 and so on. So you will have a difference of 2, 2 between them. Now when I talk about odd whole numbers, the answer remains the same. The answer does not change. What do I mean to say? If I talk about odd natural numbers or if I talk about odd whole numbers, 
the answer remains the same as it would always start from 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on and so on with a difference of 2. Okay. Now when I talk about odd integers, can I talk about 0 here? No, I cannot talk about 0. So let me just remove a 0 from here. Okay. So now when I talk about odd integers, if I am saying plus 1 is an odd integer at the same time minus 1 if plus 3 minus 3 and so on and so forth at both the extremities when i say both the extremities i'm talking about the positive side the next one after 3 comes 5 then comes 7 and then so on and so on and so forth on both the extremities okay so when i take the value of z as 0 which is a neutral integer i get the value as 1 when i take it as 1 i get the value as 3 and so on. When I take the value of z as minus 1, I get minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 only and so forth. Okay, so I hope you have understood what are even numbers, what are odd numbers and then a minor, I mean if I say minor means here, here is micro segmentation. I mean segmentation in terms of even natural numbers, odd natural numbers, even whole numbers, odd whole numbers, even integers and odd integers. The next thing that we are going to discuss here is prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are those numbers which have exactly two factors. Now what are factors? Factors are those numbers which completely divide a number. For example, if I say 2 is a prime number, it will have exactly two factors and those two factors would be the number itself and 1. This is the definition of a prime number. That means a prime number cannot be written as a product of two different natural numbers other than 1 and 2 is what I have written here. So just for the sake of revision, a prime number, if p is a prime number, it will always be written as p into 1. It cannot be written as a product of any other natural numbers other than the prime number itself and 1. Okay. Second point which is to be noted here about prime numbers here is if I talk about the entire set of prime numbers, Please mark the words being used. If I know that this, I am talking about prime numbers. That means I know that this is the entire set of prime numbers. Then the end, the, the first prime number is 2. The next prime number is 3. The next prime number is 6n minus 1. The next prime number is 6n plus 1. But any number which is written like this need not be prime. I repeat, if I know that p is a prime number, I can write it as 6n minus 1. 6n plus 1 other than 2 and 3 but any number which is written like this need not be prime so this is one way entry if i know that this is this is a prime number i can always write it as 6n minus 1 or 6n plus 1 wherein capital n is a natural number but any number which is written like 6n plus 1 for example if i take a number like 25 i know 25 can be written as 6 into 4 plus 1 this does not necessarily mean that it is prime Meaning thereby 6n minus 1 and 6n plus 1 is not a test for prime numbers. If I know that the number is prime, I can always write it as 6n minus 1 or 6n plus 1 other than 2 and 3 which are primes. So just to take this discussion forward, if I have to find out prime numbers lesser than 100, I know that I can start off the set with 2, 3. Now other than 2 and 3, the remaining prime numbers that I have written here can be written in the format 6n minus 1 and 6n plus 1. Let's see how. Now what is 5 here? Can I write 5 as 6 into 1 minus 1? Of course. Can I write 7 as 6 into 1 plus 1? Of course. And so on. So the next one if you see 11. So 11 can be written as 6 into 2 minus 1. I know that these numbers are prime, which is why I am able to write it as either 6n minus 1 or 6n plus 1. What is the use of this? This we will talk about in the application stage. As of now, we are only talking about the concepts. Okay. The next point which is important here is all prime numbers other than 2 are odd. All prime numbers other than 2 are odd. But can I say all odd numbers will be prime? No. Which is why I have put a 
cross mark for the other way around. That means I am involving now some element of logical reasoning or analytical reasoning here or deductive logic. What am I saying? All prime numbers other than 2, are they always odd? Yes. But can I say all odd numbers are always prime? No, I cannot. And the greatest counter that you can give here is, which is the first odd number that you can talk about? Which is not a prime number? Can I say 9? Of course. Right? Okay. Now the next point here is check for prime numbers. How do I test whether, whether a number is prime or not? This we'll talk about this at a later stage, maybe in the next video. Okay. The next point here, which is one of the last point here, as far as this video is concerned, we'll be talking about what are composite numbers. So can I say if a number is not prime, it will be composite. So if you recall my first discussion, on numbers, I had talked about every discussion can be divided into three parts. In life, I can divide any discussion into three parts. And that those three parts I had already talked about are what? Either I'll say the positive part, the negative part or the neutral part are the three discussions that I'm talking about. Right? So, if a number, now let's understand it like this. Now, when we talk about prime and composites, let us say that I'm dividing the numbers into three parts. What are these three parts? One, then comes a prime number, then comes a composite number. So if I say a number is not prime, that does not necessarily mean that it is composite. A number not being prime means I'll divide this discussion into two parts. One is the number one itself and the other part here is a composite number. Similarly, if I say I am talking about natural numbers other than 1. I am talking about natural numbers. So let's put this as natural numbers. I am talking about natural numbers other than 1. Then I will say what? Then the numbers may be either prime or composites. Now if I say that the number is not a composite number, does it necessarily mean that it is prime? No. In that case, we will have two possibilities. One possibility would be the number 1 itself and the other possibility would be a prime number. Please try and understand this. This is going to really help you when it comes to application and the concept building of the basics that we are talking about. Okay. So, for a composite number, can I say a composite number will have at least three factors? Yes. Which is the minimum? For example, here we talked about which is the minimum prime number? So can I say the minimum composite number? The composite number starts from 4. The next composite number is 6. Next 7, no. Next 8 and so on. Next 9. So this gives you a fair enough idea of that composite numbers may be even or may be odd. Which is the smallest composite number? 4. Which is the smallest prime number? 2. Which is the smallest natural number? 1. Which is neither prime nor composite. Please understand it like this. So can I say, if, if I say that a composite number has at least three factors, the number four has how many factors? One, two and four itself. So it has exactly three factors. Right? If I talk about number six, how many factors does it have? The factors of number six are one, two, three and six. There are four factors, which proves what? It proves that every composite number will have at least three factors. Taking this forward, a composite number can be written in two ways. The first one that I have written here is a composite number can be written as a prime number to the power a natural number, but this natural number should be greater than or equal to a two. And I know that the minimum prime number that I can take here is two, which is why and which, which is the minimum natural number value that you can take from here to which is why we said that the minimum the smallest composite number that you can take here is 4 which is the next composite number that you can take here the next composite number that you can take here is a product of two different prime numbers so the next variety of composite numbers that I have written here is a composite number can be broken up into a product of at least two different prime numbers. 
so which is why the next prime number that you get because of two different prime numbers with their minimum powers is 6 the next composite number that you get from here is 2 cube which is 8 the next composite number that you can get here is 3 square and so on I hope this point has been fairly understood now whenever you are watching a video it is advised that you watch the video once again when you are watching the video once again you will learn something more than what you would have already learned this comes as a piece of advice okay last but not the least can I say all even numbers other than 2 will always be composite you can just check it out here 4, 6, 8, 10 they will always be composite numbers but at the same time can I say all composite numbers other than 2 will always be even no this is a wrong terminology to be used let me revisit it all even numbers other than 2 are composite numbers that is fairly understood but can I say all composite numbers will always be even no few minutes back only we talked about composite numbers may be either even or they may be odd so the other way round it is not correct last but not the least we have already talked about one one is what neither prime nor composite and this is the smallest natural number that you can have right i hope this topic has been fairly understood if you feel that today's session was really an informative one and it enhances your knowledge base please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you have already done so please click on the bell icon and select all so that you start receiving updates regularly if you want us to do some specific videos on some specific topics please put your comments in the comments section thank you so much until next time we meet goodbye